Hi, hello, welcome back to our channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the yesterday's MCQ. So before going into the explanation, let's see the MCQ for today. So today's MCQ is what is the amount of occlusal reduction required for metal ceramic facing on the non-functional cusp? Option A 0.5 to 1 mm, option B 1 to 1.5 mm, option C 1.5 to 2 mm, option D 2 to 2.5 mm. If you know the answers, please do let your answers in the comment section or in the Instagram page. So a special mention will be made for the correct answers. So come let's go into the yesterday's MCQ. So yesterday's MCQ question is funnel shaped perforations through wing like retainers to enhance resin retention is. So the answer for this question is option B that is Rochet's bridge. So in this question we have uh, Rochet's bridge, Maryland's bridge and the Virginia bridge. So all these bridge are comes under in a single category where we usually have an abutment crown but in these types of retainers or the, these types of bridges we don't have a abutment crown but instead of crown we will be having only the wings. So those wings will be attached to the lingual surface of the abutments and there will be very minimal reduction and there will be no disturbance in the facial surface only the lingual surface will be um, eroded slightly. So in this we have three different types that is as we know the Rochette's bridge and the Maryland's bridge and the Virginia bridge. So what is the difference between these three bridge is all three bridge will be having wings but in the uh, Rochette's bridge we will have holes. So we will be having five holes or four holes according to the stability required. We will be having holes in the wings uh, which is attached to the pontic. Those holes will be having a mechanical uh, adaptation to the tooth with the help of resin. So this is the mechanism followed by the Rochette's bridge where we will be having a funnel shaped perforations in the wings. So which is the question for today. And uh, in the when it comes to the Maryland's bridge we will be having uh, no holes or no uh, perforations in the wings. So both the surfaces will be etched where the tooth surface is etched and the tissue surface of the Maryland's bridge is etched and with that etched surfaces we will be having a resin bonded uh, micro mechanical um, adaptation. So when it comes to uh, the final Virginia bridge, so in this type of uh, Virginia bridge what they will do is they will first make the uh, wax pattern with the help of resin and uh, above the resin we will, uh, they will be spraying salt crystals and those salt crystals will get melted when it is uh, heated and the uh, melted salt crystals will create a perforation of very minute small small perforations in the wing of the Virginia bridge. This is made up of rock salt or the crystalline salt. So this the method of uh, fabricating the Virginia bridge is called as lost salt technique. So when we uh, cast and fabricate the Virginia bridge we will be having a uh, all these rock salts to get melted and there will be small 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 perforations in the uh, wing. So those perforations are called as lost salt technique. So this technique is used to fabricate the Virginia bridge and those small small porosities present in the uh, wax pattern will be converted to the metal fabrication and similar kind of perforations also will be projected in the metal surface. So those voids present on the wings will help in the mechanical adaptation of the uh, bridge towards the abutment tooth. So if you like this video please do like, share and subscribe to this channel and along with it don't forget to comment your correct answers for the questions asked in the start of the video. So let us discuss the answers in the next video.